So today we will discuss uh, virus free baggies and fruits uh, sanitizing in organic way. We know currently uh, there is a big uh, trouble because of this uh, coronavirus uh, because uh, it is attacking all the surfaces. The fundamental or basic uh, interface between the uh, Corona-19, COVID-19 and the, our uh, surfaces and uh, its entry inside the body is surface only. So uh, surface sciences uh, have become very important uh, in a way that uh, if uh, Corona is uh, prevented uh, not to stick or not to uh, uh, fall on the surfaces, then that way uh, its entry uh, could be protected. Uh, so uh, this seems that uh, all the surfaces uh, are uh, of different uh, nature and uh, they have surface energy. And it is also very clear that uh, surface uh, is uh, a very vast uh, area of science and uh, every object has surfaces. Human being has surfaces, human body is having surfaces. Uh, laptop is having surfaces, pen is having surfaces, book is having surfaces, chair, table, kitchen, everything, vehicles, they have surfaces. So it is a challenge basically that uh, when surfaces uh, are there and each and every object has surfaces, in fact, the corona also has a uh, surface because uh, it is made up of uh, RNA and protein coating. So ultimately, there's a terminal, there's a terminal of all these things. Uh, so there are certain residual forces. So we know very well that uh, the fundamental difference in the surfaces uh, and the bulk is that in the bulk, the difference in potential energy as per Schrodinger equation or Schrodinger concept about the energy or energy potential between the bulk and the surfaces. The surfaces are having residual forces. They have uh, uh, different energy uh, pockets and uh, since the surfaces sometimes are not uh, 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 even uh, and uh, so even in the sense that uh, somewhere uh, the molecules or atoms or ions are uh, in different concentration. So when concentration gradient uh, exists, it is understood, it is but natural that automatically a spontaneity in energy, a spontaneity in activities will exist. So it becomes a challenge that how to track the uh, surfaces and how to protect the surfaces. We know very well that surfaces are having a spontaneity because of the uneven concentration of the ions or molecules or atoms. S similarly, corona also, uh, coronavirus uh, also has the surfaces. So when uh, they, these two uh, in, uh, interface or they come together at a Lennard zone potential, then interaction starts. So ultimately, we have to, we have not to allow to come of corona to the Lennard zone potential with respect to the valuable surfaces. So this especially the fruits and vegetables, their surfaces are very valuable and their surfaces are lip surfaces. So it becomes very important that how to protect the surfaces and how to protect the fruits and vegetables or veggies from the virus. Uh, uh, this is also very important that uh, as I uh, have discussed that until unless uh, the, uh, the faces, uh, uh, the, 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 the surface, uh, surfaces uh, are uh, equal, then uh, there is no danger, but surfaces are not uh, uh, equally uh, having equal concentration of, uh, even if there is a thin film, thin film is also not equally uh, or uniformly developed. There is still there is a uh, energy, there is a concentration of the ingredients, difference. So now we will reach on the conclusion that, uh, so uh, these surfaces, they have the residual forces. So ultimately we will say the surfaces have residual forces which generate the spontaneity to act, which are these two different objects. The, uh, this uh, interfacing between the two objects. So if they do not come at a interacting or uh, 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 reacting level, then there is no danger for the surface of the, or the human body or the sitting of the corona on the uh, body or uh, skin or hands and some fruits and vegetables. So now fundamental sciences is that uh, 
uh, this uh, <clears throat> uh, causing sanitizing actions are because of surface charges and their surface activities, surface area and entropy. When the, uh, the molecules on the surfaces they have larger uh, surface area in the sense they are uh, they have residual uh, charges and residual forces it means uh, the in individual molecule is uh, not uh, in uh, touch of many other molecules of aggregation or clustering it means that a molecule has a structural constituents like functional groups electrostatic atoms and uh, electronegative atoms and electrostatic dipoles so these uh, uh, within single molecule they develop different oscillatory motions and different kind of electronic motions so within the single molecule there are different phases so this is called intramolecular entropy that is called tentropy so tentropically these uh, uh, fusion molecules are the molecules which are supposed to uh, clean the surfaces uh, they have entropy. It is a helpful parameter. So now surface uh, charge because of this uh, entropy and entropy both are helpful for reorienting the charges of the uh, twisting molecules. So they develop the uh, surface electrokinetics. How charge reorients and how charge is helpful to keep away the virus and also uh, to clean the vegetables and fruits in a nice way so that dust particle cannot make a uh, dent chemical interaction wise. So ultimately uh, when surfaces are there then zeta potential is a very important parameter and especially within this zeta potential the stern level which is very near between the two active dipoles. So that is stern uh, that layer of stern distance uh, and similarly slipping potentials because slightly away. So when any potential, any dipole which is slightly away from the core uh, that uh, dipole, then uh, it will not be sticking. So ultimately we have to develop a uh, slipping potential between the uh, coronavirus and the uh, is and the and the energy residual energy of the fruit and veggie veggies uh, skin. So this becomes a fundamental science. Now twisting motions uh, is already there that they could move here and there wherever there is a leash at it as per leash at it your law. The, the, the uh, energy the constant which is having higher energy which is oscillating will move to that direction where there is a least energy. So ultimately it is sweeping the surface area or ultimately it is taking the surface area in its own control so that the virus cannot come. So if uh, this is in context of thin film so pesticides or virus have chemical structures and and have a residual forces. So ultimately uh, they could uh, uh, also develop uh, the, the, the interactions uh, with the vegetable and fruit uh, surfaces. So we have to keep away as I have mentioned these uh, fundamental sciences. So residual forces lead to Lennart zone potential I already explained and physical chemical sciences and technology of nanomaterials which is fundamentally is noted as a physiometrology. It uh, plays a master role and a very critical role in case of uh, uh, avoiding the uh, interactions between the two uh, interfaces or uh, the uh, that's or the or the uh, surfaces of two objects so they are kept away now fruits and uh, fruits and uh, this uh, sometimes when we cut the fruits like uh, apple and all they undergo redox it means there's a effective chemical reaction so in such cases our free energy also changes in that case pressure could also change and it uh, could uh, also affect it develop the new surface on the on the, uh, uh, the cutting area so in this case now when there is a redox reaction it means uh, chemical potential changes as per the ions which are at the uh, at the very nearer to the surface which is cut because they are getting uh, they are in touch of the environment where a virus and uh, could uh, uh, seriously affect so we have to cautiously cut these and whenever we have to cut we have to utilize otherwise uh, this uh, entropy and chemical potential uh, could be uh, developed and this uh, could uh, also trap and uh, uh, this uh, and grab the uh, virus because this is all the virus also has a structure. Now in this context the concept of interfacial sciences is fundamentally connected uh, between the uh, in, in keeping away the virus from the vegetables and the uh, 
fruit skins because there is an energy gradient. So this energy gradient gradient is to be kept away by uh, and if a sanitizing liquid is to be developed, this sanitizing liquid should uh, enter to the each and every every capillary and micro capillaries of the surface uh, surfaces of the fruits and vegetables. So this should have a very very uh, highest surface energy and interfacial energy should be uh, least and fundamentally there should be irreversible thermodynamics and kinetics. If there is a reversible it can come back and grow. So ultimately once the process starts it should lead to the death of the corona or should lead to the permanently keeping away the corona from the uh, fruits and vegetable surfaces. So uh, this uh, ITK which is the irreversible thermodynamics and kinetics activities they are uh, uh, having or they could be very effective there is a high uh, freco, higher frequency because higher frequency means the higher adhesive forces so ultimately the molecular tweezers which are present in the organic sanitizer they could uh, uh, adhere to the uh, coronavirus and could develop uh, wet out and could develop uh, the different uh, denaturing activities uh, uh, of the protein of the corona and RNA of the corona. So that way it will be denatured. It could not uh, perform the normal functions and could not multiply because some different chemical activities will be generated by the organic sanitizer which is uh, approaching and which is going to that side because organic is, sanitizer is having highest uh, uh, surface energy and uh, highest uh, entropy. So it develops different kind of oscillatory motions. So that way we can see this picture that uh, organic sanitizer is there and uh, on the surface uh, uh, the <clears throat> coronavirus or pesticide something is sticking here. So it has to play the organic sanitizer has to play two role. Number one it has to enter between the interfaces of the pesticide or of the corona uh, which is uh, uh, sticking on the uh, host or the fruits and vegetable surfaces. Uh, so between this it has also to enter. So this science is very complicated and this science needs a special care that this organi organic, uh, organic sanitizer only can enter between this thin uh, uh, interface when it is having highest kinetic energy, when it is having highest surface area, when it is having highest entropy. So it and it we have formulated this in a way that it has highest uh, uh, surface energy. Similarly, it should also cover, it should also go to the top of the uh, coronavirus or dust particle. It means attack is from both the sides. So when this attack is from both the sides, that way what will happen that it will be pulled out because wetting starts its grip between the fruits and vegetables is weakened. So ultimately with sanitizing which is uh, flushing out uh, because uh, it's uh, coronavirus uh, a grip on the vegetable surface is weakened, so it will go away. There is a possibility that it will be also denatured. There is also possibility that it will be crushed into pieces because of the chemical activities. So it becomes a fundamental science that uh, organic sanitizer should have the highest surface energy, and uh, <clears throat> it should its uh, molecular tweezers, its uh, uh, phytochemicals uh, uh, like uh, geraniol and uh, limonene, they are very active. They they are uh, having hydrophilic and hydrophobic uh, constituent. However, uh, they do not develop the micelle, but uh, they develop the nanohydration sphere, where this nanohydration sphere of limonene, geraniol, and other phytochemicals is most effective because uh, micellar structure or size may be uh, larger, and in fact, the cavity of the micelle, which is uh, of uh, hydrophobic in nature, could also hold. The protein so that way uh, it is a uh, these uh, phytochemicals they developed a very moderate size of the nano hydration spheres and these spheres is are having very high uh, surface energy and they are also having there's no aggregation between these among these things there's no clusterification so no agglomeration they are at a mono dispersed level that's why this science is uh, very very important so interfacial science fundamentally have that uh, the molecular tweezers of organic sanitizers, they are in the monodispersed state, which is uh, medium and solvent. Now, 
we have seen that uh, because surfaces have are having charges and uh, this uh, coronavirus is also made up of the chemicals proteins and rna so they are uh, electrostatic uh, and uh, polar peptide uh, bonds so these are fundamentally a very strong and very advanced uh, surface engineering so ultimately two forces or two energies work the chemical energy the momentum p by p square by 2m the particle size and also the electrical energy so these two energies fundamentally play play the fundamental role to keep away the corona from the vegetables and the fruit skins because both are working together wherever there is a electrical charge so this uh, uh, molecular tweezers of organic uh, uh sanitizers they neutralize they counterbalance and similarly they weaken the grip so the uh, kinetic energy uh, take over then is flush it out so both are working simultaneously so ultimately we are encashing the residual forces of the surface energy because they are the electrical energy or the charges uh, electrostatic charges or uh, electronic electron cloud of the molecular sanitizers they uh, uh, according to the charge they interact uh, with the charges of the uh, coronavirus and then when this interaction starts so that uh, chemical uh, uh, kinetic energy takes over and takes them away now this is a fundamental picture before us that uh, the organic sanitizers uh, track surface area and charges because charge is being distributed here on the surfaces charge is it is this charge is not at the bulk which at the bulk if we see this layer at the bulk difference in potential energy is zero because all charges are neutralized but charges at the surfaces are not neutralized there is a surface surfaces with residual forces or charges so coulombic interaction at the surfaces q uh, plus uh, into q minus 4 pi epsilon r square it is not equal to 0 uh, it is more than 0 but in the bulk it is equal to 0 because all charges are counterbalanced in such situation the two unique potential energy or energies so uh, bulk is safer but the main attack is on the surfaces and uh, as i have already explained every item has surfaces bottle chair table glass water everything blackboard pen laptop everything has the surface charges and it is not like a teflon that uh, uh, residual charges are uh, uh, counterbalanced they say there are charges because there is a high technology where the surface charge uh, could get uh, this coulombic energy zero however it is not possible so these two uh, organic sanitizer are fundamentally tracking this uh, a unique feature of surfaces because organic sanitizers they also have the as i told you limonene and others because these molecules they are made up of atoms they are made up of atoms are made up of electrons and all these are their constituent their functional groups their electronic energy or electronic uh, potential is not one functional different different functional groups they have different uh, electronic energy however there is optimization so this optimization is still uh, not uh, completely uh, this uh, neutralized and counterbalanced so whenever this is subjected to any surface it attacks and finds uh, any dark particle and uniquely interact and by two methods number one it surrounds that and it also enters the interfaces between these two things so now this dipolar structure a quadrupolar structure fundamentally at the surface charges are there not neutralized but in the bulk charges are neutralized so in the surface there is a quadrupolar structure but at the at the at the in the bulk there is a quadrupolar structure but at the surface there is a dipolar structure and dipolar interactions exist so this is a fundamental science that dipolar interactions exist but dipolar quadrupolar structures they neutralize and counterbalance and the resultant energy comes zero that's why bulk is having this uh, q uh, plus uh, into q minus by 4 pi epsilon r square equal to 0 because it is a quadrupolar they counter completely counterbalance but dipolar uh, does not counterbalance some energy exist now uh, this is the fundamental science that uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> picture here is the of uh, tomato surfaces and it is seen that uh, only high surfaces organic sanitizer uh, 
uh, it's uh, making a uniform thin film. So in this way, making uniform thin film is a completely wetting and completely washing. And uh, then only there's no possibility of uh, sticking of the corona on the surfaces of vegetables. So a care should be given, a utmost care should be given that we have to choose the phytochemicals which are uh, already, of course, in, they, they are synthesized by the plants in the nature. So they should have in a structure in a way that they should develop the nano hydration sphere and they should, they should not aggregate in the medium generally water is taking as a as a as a for making the organic sanitizer uh, solution so uh, this water the structure is to be broken of this water otherwise this if structure of water is not broken it will have high surf it will have uh, least surface energy so fundamentally it cannot enter the bulk and it cannot enter the interior of the uh, of the surface which is between the pesticide or the coronavirus and the host. So it can only enter, the science is seen here, then force factors are there. This will enter to as per uh, the uh, uh, electrostatic structures of the surfaces and the material. So uh, this can uh, enter if it is having electrostatic structures also, the phytochemicals which are present in the, uh, in the uh, organic sanitizer. So they could enter each and every part in the micro capillaries and uh, micro cavities because there are certain dents where corona could sit there. So there is a fundamental situation that this, it should be removed by choosing making an excellent uh, formulation uh, of the phytochemicals that is organic sanitizer. And we know very well many chemicals, they are antiviral, antibacterial, so they have different properties. So now we will come, this is fundamental uh, like a uh, interfacial gap. We talk a lot about uh, uh, band gap. We know that the metals do not have the band gap because electrons quickly shift from one atom to another. So there is a faster flow of the electricity and it is also the electrochemistry itself is a uh, surface sciences. So now this, uh, if we see this energy, Boltzmann energy and Fermi energy, they are very much connected to the surface sciences. We know that uh, conduction band and uh, uh, valence band, the electron go from valence to the conduction band. And this uh, interfacial gap, it is it plays the master role. If interfacial gap is larger, then there is no question of any reaction. There is no question of any interaction. So uh, there is no point of uh, 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 no point of uh, the removing of the corona from the uh, from the uh, surfaces. There are many complicated surfaces where surface, corona could enter inside, further there may be also some coating ever uh, on that. So it acts as a interfacial uh, or between the inner uh, that uh, uh, faces. So this interfacial gap, as I told that uh, electron uh, could not flow and uh, electron does not mean that everywhere electron could uh, will, will flow, then only this thing, the effect will be generated. There are electrostatic uh, dipoles these dipoles could, as per their negative positive charge, they establish the uh, Coulombic interactions. So they, they, they could also create the effect to remove the uh, virus. So this uh, interfacial energy is a full-fledged fundamental science and very advanced science where all these equations now, uh, the, the, the world is looking for new models of science. Why? Because it's a new challenge. No one knows that this could, this challenge could, this kind of challenge could be, uh, could be imposed on the human race by this corona. So now we are looking and there's an urgent need to remodel the science and also to explore the fundamental science. How to how to deal with the corona and how we can keep away the corona different sciences different expertises different set of doctors different set of expertises are required for this now i have already explained this blows uh, uh, theorem below scientists gave the theory that uh, quickly quickly because uh, sodium if we take example of sodium is a metal it can quickly pass the electricity so now here because electron protons are very closely uh, placed so electron could uh, fastly transfer so negative positive poles are developed at a very small distance so that's why faster electricity and uh, there's no band gap it means interfacial science here is very fast and very quick however this kind of sciences may not be required for that thing 
बिकॉज हियर मेटल रिमेन सेम बट नाउ वी कैन से दिस इज ए चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली when electrons flow there is a, a wave it they flow in the form of a wave however there is dual nature particle and wave but energy oscillations lambda and all when it moves so same kind of oscillations are created by the molecular tweezers in the organic sanitizer because it has to swap it has to make a thin film on the uh, uh, on the surfaces of the vegetable and the and the fruits we have to completely make them safe so this should be in a very uh, soft way and this should be this energy should not be very high so the very uh, in a even shorter uh, or uh, not shorter but very very high higher lambda longer lambda uh, the photons of longer lambda are generated which can uh, can give additional input to the organic uh, molecular tweezers so they could be they could generate these uh, waves and by these waves the corona itself could go away could be damaged also we know microwave the food is generated by waves only so this is a fundamental science we it is explained that uh, in case of uh, the <clears throat> metals there is no band gap so quickly uh, charge is uh, transferred but uh, this example uh, is there that uh, electrostatic uh, forces could also be developed where there is a a uh, little bit uh, some gap so uh, still there is a semiconducting mechanism where charge could uh, still transfer but if it's a very fast far away as i told in the facial sciences the gap uh, between the uh, uh, between the uh, molecular sanitizer and the <clears throat> host is very very far that it could not create any effect on this so molecular sanitizer should have the least uh, uh, least gap between the surface and itself so that it can enter it means highest energy it should not make a permanent drop of uh, larger size because cohesive energy will be highest when cohesive energy will be highest it will not be able to enter or it will not be able to make the adhesion to this so this fundamental science we know that the organic sanitizers ultimately we will say that uh, their energy will be distributed in x y z three directions because we have to cover the whole directions so maxwell velocity distribution could equally be functional could equally be used and particle size their surface area is a classical motion that electrical energy so uh, these all energies they are fundamental kinetic energy uh, equal to half mb square so all these are become very very useful because it is not a static process it is a dynamic process it is a kinetic process so it is to be covered all kind of uh, uh, velocities are generated generated x y z because three the there is a thick uh, uh, very thick uh, surfaces but still uh, that z also and thickness also Uh, exist so we have to cover that so molecular sanitizer should be capable should be competent to develop uh, the three motions x y z then only it could develop it could ensure that yes it is going everywhere and corona could be washed away now it is a simple example of uh, uh, the nano hydration see it is shining tomato now this tomato itself is also having different uh, uh, ingredient at different different position so this from outside it will be seen that it there is a uh, equal energy distribution but because concentration is not equally concentration of ingredient is not equally distributed it means uh, it is its energy patches or energy pockets are generated however if we see this uh, right hand side then uh, it seems that uh, nano hydration sphere are developed because uh, almost uh, all sides so now this could because this structure is very near the surfaces so this internal structure could definitely affect the surface energy now veggies and the fruits uh, they have uh, this kind of skin so we have also to uh, take care and we have little bit uh, very minutely and very cautiously we have to uh, see the internal structure of the fruits and vegetables and then so that we can realize that surface energy because it is the surface energy is the outcome of the internal structure so that way uh, this give a uh, kind of a, uh, a, a way out that how we could be extra cautious to deal with the corona virus which could be sitting on this so ultimately nano hydration spheres in such cases become a remedial uh, way so now high surface energy sanitizer uh, could uh, as i have already explained that uh, uh, there is energy distribution 
and there is also the shear. It a shear is developed because ultimately molecular tweezers will move. It will move when this is uh, in a wetting out the surfaces or it is uh, continuously moving without gap. So this shear with uh, optimum shear rate, it should not fastly go because there could be some air bubble. So this air bubble will give some gap. It, they may be having oxygen. So they will further uh, give new life to the corona. So, or to pesticide, or redox and oxidation, redox uh, reaction could occur, which will be more dangerous than this. So, ultimately, the shear is a very fundamental and very effective parameter. This shear is measured by the, uh, uh, by the service meter. And this along with shear, because higher shear is only when cohesive force is weakened. So, cohesive force and shear both are simultaneously measured and they are measured with service meter. Service meter is the only device which measures these two fundamental parameters together. These are the basic parameters of the organic sanitizer. Then only we will be in position to say that yes, this the quality of this sanitizer is remarkable and the quality, this sanitizer could uh, ensure the removal of the uh, uh, the corona or pesticide from the valuable surfaces. See the surface are valuable. Leaves and all photosynthesis. So now uh, this picture is uh, uniform here and this surface is uh, see that different track, different lines are seen. This again says this uh, even energy on the surface is not equal and charges are here. The surface zeta potential as I explained some excess charge on the positive excess charge on the surface then it will generate the positive. If it is negative, it will negative. So ultimately, interfacial sciences, they are told based on the surface charges or zeta potential and then accordingly they could attract the different constraints of the <coughs> different constraints of the corona, protein or RNA or their linkages or phosphate. So this is a, a very interfacial and unique science that uh, our zeta potential of the organic sanitizer uh, could be an additional uh, plus point for damaging uh, the coronavirus. Now, we have seen here that uh, as I am talking that uh, the high surface area, so this high surface area is only when it is covering the larger surface and when low surface energy liquids because it is not able to cover the larger surfaces and not able to wash the larger surfaces because it is having stronger cohesive forces so being accumulated making its own center but when it is high surface energy uh, organ sanitizer it is not making its own center of gravity but it is making the center of gravity of the surface uh, so this is the fundamental difference that uh, here it is making a circular it means the circular uh, center has its uh, uh, center of gravity which is negative factor for the uh, corona uh, for the uh, organic sanitizer so ultimately we have to go to the situation where contact angle is completely zero if contact angle is very high it means uh, it is the uh, organic sanitizer is uh, not useful because there uh, the solvent is making its own uh, gravity uh, center so it is not able to wet out the surfaces while uh, when it is high surface energy uh, organic sanitizer they see the completely uh, surface is completely uniformly and uh, non porous so it could not exchange the air could not uh, could not supply the oxygen to the coronavirus or to the other pesticide others so there is no possibility that some side reactions or some side interactions local interactions could be initiated uh, in case of the high surface energy corona high surface energy organic uh, uh, sanitizer so it is very safe and it is useful and uh, simply uh, phytochemicals uh, uh, are responsible for making this a unique uh, structure now intrafacial surfaces and interfacial energy uh, they become the fundamental science as I told that uh, QI and QJ they are the positive and negative particles it was already explained that uh, uh, mechanical energy or uh, momentum of the particle uh, they are controlled and they have mutual relationship between the electrostatic forces so now it is seen that uh, 
this uh, objects they also have intrafacial uh, concentration gradients and this intrafacial concentration gradients develop oscillations accordingly and heat capacity stretching and making so electrostatic forces and electrokinetics shear stress shear rates and conducting an optic osmotical activities so it means the surface uh, alone is uh, not uh, uh, able to develop its own uh, nature but it is inside the uh, vegetable or the fruits uh, where concentration and their their, uh, their uh, accumulation they are responsible for generating stretching and heat capacity and every object because it is atoms and electrons and protons so they are they are having uh, oscillatory motion so it generate heat now similarly a uh, low surface uh, energy liquids uh, this uh, no wetting and high surface energy is wetting uh, this equation uh, depicts that uh, uh, if we take uh, high, low surface energy liquid then it is not able to uh, come at the lenard zone potential this liquid or molecular sanitizer molecular features of the organ sanitizers they are not in position to come uh, closer to the interface that's why because r is larger when r is larger then uh, potential well is uh, not very deep however it should be moderate so so that the uh, surface is also not damaged even it is not moderate also uh, but if it is high surface energy uh, organic sanitizer they uh, attain the moderate uh, lenard zone potential where moderate potential energy well is also developed which is safer where uh, additional uh, hard core chemical uh, activities or interactions or reactions are not generated so in uh, whatever way the nature has developed the bulk and the and the and the surface of the fruits and vegetables they are as such only is the difference is that they are clean the corona or pesticide they are removed by the high energy uh, organic sanitizers they are very safe in a way that they do not uh, cause any 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 uh, corrosion or any dehydration like a 70% alcohol and uh, uh, sodium hypochlorite they are cor uh, corroding so such situation is not uh, with this now uh, see if we see the situation natural the citrus uh, quality is citrus uh, plants they have uh, see the froth is developed in the water only uh, this and this is a colloid is stable colloidal because uh, see the this turbidity however it is a micro emulsion not a nano emulsion but next step is the nano emulsion as see the structure that phytochemical they have uh, uh, naturally they have the uh, micro emulsions and nano emulsion even if we see this uh, tomato extract if we take it out as such we measure its a uh, uh, shear we have seen that its shear comes under the uh, nano emulsion category it has least cohesive force and uh, where it is seen here uh, so uh, uh, here that uh, if we see this uh, tomato uh, this uh, extract of water it wets out the surfaces and it itself can wash also the uh, fruits and uh, the uh, uh, fruits and the veggie uh, skins so ultimately if it is making uh, if it is making a very uh, highest cohesive energy contact angle highest no nope, uh, no any uh, uh, permittivity permittivity between the uh, surfaces which is uh, uh, developed between the dust particle or the corona particle or the pesticide and the host so they cannot enter now this is the situation so ultimately inter interfacial energies uh, uh, proteins and linkages of the corona they are also similarly responsible and they also does not mean that there is no remedy there is a remedy but we have to look as i told that now new challenge is started and we have to look for to deal with the new challenges so scientists they have to uh, revisit their theories scientists have to uh, relook on their research and we because a lot of potential is hidden in the uh, research of the scientists so now that we if we deal uh, or if we have a relook then uh, inter interfacial sciences that directly covered with the frequency and the molecular tweezer there's a close relationship between between the frequency because frequency is a uh, interaction index when there is a maxim when maximum cohesive force is transformed into the into the kinetic energy then frequency becomes highest 
when frequency density becomes highest it is having high surface energy and could be a very good uh, or efficient uh, organic sanitizer so same situation is here that high surface energy if you have a look then almost all the molecules or phytochemicals they are activated does not mean that partially or fractionally they are activated almost all since it is a nano emulsion so almost all molecules of the uh, organic sanitizer or molecular tweezers which is not which are nothing but the they are phytochemicals all are in the activated state they are not uh, uh, agglomerated they are not clustered they are monodispersed so they uh, this the only unique uh, ness of these uh, organic sanitizers since they are nano emulsion and uh, all are uh, uh, molecular tweezers the moment they get opportunity they swing into the action so now this is uh, have a look at the uh, physiology of the proteins uh, and uh, uh, inter and intrafacial sciences if you have a look then corona outside surface structures atoms because these proteins they have uh, uh, their uh, uh, polar peptide bonds and folding primary secondary tertiary quaternary and again their alpha to beta deconvolution so these uh, proteins uh, are also very active and protein of the corona virus is uh, <laughs> not a ideal molecule they it is having all kind of uh, uh, peptide bonds and amino acids so they could be tackled they does not mean that it is uh, not be it could not be tackled so here it is however it uh, it could act as a quantum dots but we have to unfold and unfold means larger surface area possibilities of uh, maximum interaction of organic sanitizer with the unfolded protein however there's a minimum chances when protein is folded nature in the natural state because maximum cohesive force is least entropy so ultimately uh, when this uh, it is also seen that uh, uh, we know that surfactants and uh, uh emulsions they could enter in the primary structure secondary structure and tertiary structure quarter structure of the protein the protein unfolds and protein unfolds means uh, interfacial interactions start uh, with the molecular tweezers so they become now it is seen that uh, you know this uh, protein they have different uh, energy pockets uh, this uh, distortion also and uh, to increase surface energy and protein unfolding as i have already explained so it means it is not difficult it is very easy that accessible surface area is generated is enlarged when proteins are unfolded and these unfolded proteins will uh, spontaneously uh, or small simultaneously interact with the organic sanitizers and there is a possibility that uh, uh, these proteins uh, if they are associated with the corona the corona could be damaged this is a simple structure of how solvent could enter solvent means the organic sanitizer so if uh, the proteins are unfolded this picture is before us they could uh, uh, be easily uh, denatured more and more more and more uh, organic sanitizer could enter in their pockets it means uh, uh, their situation may be there that uh, they could list uh, their uh, uh, their kind of intrinsic structure when intrinsic structure is lost then their function is lost because we know sar structure activity relationship so corona virus is or uh, it could be could be easily tackled there is no issue that their protein could be denatured and uh, uh, the organic sanitizer is not merely a washing or wetting uh, uh, reagent or the medium but it is having a capability of inducing a remarkable science as i have already quoted through electrostatic dipoles through entering into the into into uh, the surfaces near surfaces and reorienting the charges it means losing its natural state characteristic state so the function could be different so that way this uh, is uh, organic sanitizer is a capable uh, uh, medium is a capable science is a completely science to uh, deal with the corona and similar other uh, entities now if we see have a this look at this protein accessible surface probe centers and all see molecular surface points and reentrant points because it is different structure so contact with this protein by the by the organic sanitizer is by vibrant 
when it is very vibrant, then it could be easily in traction in re-engineered. When it is re-engineered or engineered, reorientated, reoriented, then this science uh, of uh, uh, organic sanitizer, only the fundamental beauty that it should have high surface energy could bring wonders. Now, <clears throat> this is also the structure that sometimes calcium, sometimes other ions could also be trapped in that. And when coronavirus uh, differently interact with the anions, cations, uh, electrostatic uh, uh, poles and the uh, uh, electrostatic atoms, electronegative atoms and functional groups. So this structure is before us. It's a functional structure and this functional structure could develop a very, uh, very remarkable interaction engineering with the coronavirus. The purpose is to denature it and to defunct it. Similarly, water itself enters, we know very well, and different, different interaction sites, the, this ion negative positive does not mean that electron as such, like as from sodium, but because it is the uh, electrostatic poles, these electrostatic poles, proteins have these electrostatic poles, uh, polar peptide bonds, say through them water enters and uh, salvation and hydration occurs. So ultimately, protein could be damaged. This is the glycoprotein, matrix protein, nucleoprotein, and uh, nucleocapsid -cap proteins and polymerase protein. So this is, this structure seems to be similar with the uh, corona because uh, it is seen that uh, glycoprotein are making the spike. So this is different structures, different electrostatic uh, that uh, points within this. So. Uh, and there is also species, it is not a uniform because different, different constraints are uh, especially oriented at different, different locations. So they have energy difference and this energy difference is a unique point for organic sanitizer. So organic sanitizer could enter and could create another uh, interacting activities. Similarly, resting membrane, we know that it is membrane means uh, this uh, uh, plus and minus charges where entropy and uh, also chemical potential, uh, they exist. But we know very well that uh, extracellular fluid or intracellular fluid, extracellular fluid, it has plus charge generally, and intra or cytoplasm, it has minus 70, it is just uh, uh, 30, minus 3200, but 70 uh, millivolt. So it means, uh, and coronavirus uh, and, uh, is uh, having proteins and all, so this structure, RNA, uh, it's, uh, this, this kind of charge distribution uh, could be there and uh, uh, this is a remarkable situation for the organic uh, sanitizer because organic sanitizer tracks these structures and develop coulombic interactions and uh, another, another energetic interactions. So it counterbalance and neutralize these structures does not allow the, uh, 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 this uh, remaining of it in the very native state. Now similarly this uh, uh, stimulus, uh, he told that uh, uh, this structure with time, uh, we know that uh, uh, this sodium potassium salt, they keep exchanging uh, because if it is a cell, any uh, living thing has, has, has the cell. So these uh, depolarization and polarization keep taking place. So if uh, at the surface uh, uh, such things and uh, uh, in a, uh, we allow anyhow the uh, organic sanitizer to reach to them, then definitely the organic sanitizer could give the different dimension to this, could lead to different effects. It may not be normal as it is normally performed. So ultimately, we have to adopt the destructive methods. So this could be a very destructive method. And uh, we know that uh, this uh, I have already explained that uh, this uh, organic sanitizer, high kinetic energy surface area, it has uh, uh, Nero, Lemonin and uh, UK Liptol. So these molecules, they have uh, uh, different uh, uh, capabilities and uh, also able to reach to the uh, surfaces wherever the corona is or dust particle of pesticide sitting on the fruits and vegetables and other also, this is simple structure because faces this uh, interface is metallic, uh, plastic and so many others. So they have different uh, surface force, forces. If we even take uh, 
uh, except uh, from this uh, vegetable and the uh, uh, fruits so these surfaces they have different surface forces so accordingly we can also uh, design the uh, organic sanitizer and it could be helpful for cleaning it now uh, there are different situation that uh, 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 this uh, already explained that potential energy well uh, because sanitizing action is basically uh, through coulombic and uh, through the uh, moderate uh, uh, coulombic interactions and uh, where the surfaces are also safe only uh, the weakly attached uh, uh, entity that is corona pesticide they should be washed out because there is no very much stronger uh, grip between the pesticide or coronavirus and the surfaces. Uh, so uh, this surface uh, interface is weakened and there uh, the organic sanitizer could enter. So there are different uh, properties uh, which could uh, be developed. Uh, this is simple. Uh, the formulation which is having highest uh, surface area and if it is uh, having bulk uh, then this surface area no capability of it and no entry small sized particle uh, could enter however it is different because we know that uh, GPC gel permeation chromatography that the smallest particle could enter in each and every cavi cavity and capillary so the same fundamental mechanism is working that's why organic uh, sanitizer uh, is having a small sized particles molecular tweezers and uh, also highest energy so uh, that's one if we compare then uh, uh, this um, uh, ionic sanitizer like uh, sodium hypochlorite uh, it is uh, very corrosive we know that sodium uh, cation and clo anion are developed they will definitely interact or react with the surface because surface is not a neutral surface also has the partial uh, charges so definitely surface will be damaged similarly 70% ethanol dehydrating highest osmotic pressure will take away the water of the skin so uh, this is also not advisable it is also attacking uh, the eye there is a irritation when we use it is its fumes are spreaded then it attacks the uh, this uh, well, the, the part of the eye uh, which is uh, in uh, very sensitive part of eye which is in touch of the environment it can enter so this is very damaging anyhow organic sanitizer is the best way to get remedy from all these uh, demerits and uh, uh, these are uh, like uh, this uh, clove and uh, uh, this uh, black pepper and so many other uh, or plants they have very unique uh, uh, that uh, phytochemicals and uh, we may make the best use of them for making remarkable sanitizers the same science uh, because charge distributed and remarkable microfluidics because ultimately it has to go away so this shear and uh, because uh, it is not a static it is dynamic process so our organic sanitizer when it uh, surrounds the corona and uh, it generates the different energy gradients ultimately it is uh, uh, pushed out and it go out from the the surfaces of, of the vegetables and fruits so it it becomes because it is having uh, different uh, that uh, uh, energy at the surface is it's the energy surface energy of the coronavirus is not uh, uniformly distributed it is also having different so it means the corona our organic sanitizer interaction uh, uh, with the uh, surface energy of the coronavirus is not uniformly different so orientation but natural and dislocation is but natural damage is but natural so in this way the fluid dynamics fundamentally the fricko fluidics becomes a remarkable science which is uh, uh, bringing that fluids in uh, really uh, washing and uh, uh, removing or sanitizing the surfaces of the uh, fruits and vegetables with this corona uh, with this organic sanitizer so this is the best way and uh, there is a need that more and more research uh, should be intensified so that more and more options, more and more diamonds, more and more uh, uh, morals could be evolved of this uh, organic sanitizer. See different fruits are here. We have seen that uniformly distributed. There is no any large uh, uh, pen and drop size uh, structure of the media of the organic sanitizer. Your micro or nano, 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 
these are uh, nano hydration spheres almost of equal distribution energy of them is equally distributed so they will quickly large population move in that direction as i told you the corona virus ener surface energy is not equally distributed so because of the lee chatelier law because of the spontaneity these because larger population of the organic sanitizer they are highly active mono dispersed similar kind of uh, nano hydration spheres the impulse will be there so automatically corona virus or other thing which is sticking on the vegetable and fruits will be flushed out the 100% safety 100% surety and this is high level of bio compatibility there is no danger for any individual that if any individual washes the uh, uh, vegetables and fruits uh, with the organic sanitizer there may be danger no danger at all high level of bio compatibility so this is a natural sign that washing frequent has it works because uh, uh, this entropy chemical here the process is not a, a chemical nature but it is a uh, mechanical nature that uh, large sized uh, this uh, drops they come on the lotus and they roll because it is also having cohesive forces and also having the uh, shear effect of frictional forces so it takes the dust or corona and others along with this and always keep uh, the surface of the lotus clean clean so it is not a uh, ghost but it is a science of the uh, uh, high energy uh, high energy uh, organic sanitizer similarly these are the vegetables they are having Uh, micro capillaries they are having um, uh, micro cavities so these cavities uh, could uh, accumulate a larger amount of dust particle it is seen here and could also hold and can allow the excess amount of the uh, corona virus so uh, it becomes a challenge how to remove them because if larger uh, population of corona virus is uh, sticking in the cavity then its potential energy is higher then it is sticking with the surface is higher so it will be difficult to keep it uh, out so now ultimately uh, the the solution of uh, this is that uh, uh, highest uh, or high energy uh, surface energy uh, organic sanitizer could uh, flush it out because first it wet out and will enter this interface and will throw it out now uh, this uh, large size because it had it been uh, low surface energy then there is no uh, use of that so uh, this is also that uh, uh, phytochemicals uh, when are used uh, with the tea uh, the thin film or no accumulation of casein or fat is seen here but when it is not used when phytochemicals are not used then uh, casein uh, accumulations or uh, uh, aggregations and fat are seen so that is not high energy because two phases are seen but in the first single phase so the fundamental uh, potential or fundamental property of the high surface energy organic sanitizer is that it should have single phase had there been a two phases then potential energy their kinetic energy potential energy will be high surface energy will be low so rather than this uh, generating interactive interacting activities with the covid this is developing interacting activity with with themselves so it is a negative point so it is seen that uh, uh, when it, the tea is prepared with the uh, black pepper clove ginger and others then protein is not aggregated is a mono dispersed fat is also mono dispersed this structure which already explained then this protein we have seen that uh, even if protein uh, no this thing then uh, we could also uh, uh, induce some remarkable activities in the protein through the electromagnetic fields the upper structure no electromagnetic field but electromagnetic field was applied from outside then this is unfolded so we it could also be an excellent remedy that uh, we could uh, a optimum amount of the magnetic field uh, in gauss uh, its unit is gauss could be also a dose could be given to the uh, corona and uh, its uh, protein will be denatured so it is another fundamental we have conducted the experiment with peps 
pepsin, pro, peptone, and egg albumin casein. We have seen the favorable results. This is a simple uh, microfluidics uh, where uh, we have seen that uh, uh, high surface energy is moving almost in all the capillary, moving, not stagnant. It is moving, so flushing out or supplying the nutrients. It is holding or carrying the nutrient to each and every part. Similarly, it can take away the the uh, corona from one location to another location. So uh, this is a different different uh, chemicals, and this uh, service meter is the fundamental science which is uh, measuring. They are high surface energy and also the cohesive forces These were vast with the uh, our uh, high surface energy uh, organic sanitizer is a shining. We have seen that dust particle, whatever was there, pesticide completely gone. So this is the washing action could be calculated quantitatively. This is simple science and uh, see the simple uh, we have different formulations used plant extract and uh, this uh, orange peel of different different uh, formulations it has given this result and different uh, phytochemicals uh, like uh, neem leaves and uh, basil flower basil leaves mantha leaves orange peel they were uh, formulated with the uh, uh, gold nanoparticle and we found that uh, it has become very useful because they have capped and they were having adequate hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity because of that it has also developed the unique surface uh, interactions which could easily uh, wash out uh, the pesticides or the coronavirus simple uh, bilayer lipid uh, layer and we know that uh, membrane they have also potential so charge is there so it vibrates we can make the best use of this also now uh, this uh, today's uh, this discussion webinar is now moving towards end and then the struggle with vision and dynamism lead to add new chapter in the science we have seen is here the service meter and service meter is a fundamental tool for developing the high surface energy organic sanitizer because we have to measure its surface area we have to measure its uh, it's uh, uh, cohesive forces, adhesive forces, and shear stress and shear rate, and also activation energy. If there had there been highest activation energy of the organic uh, sanitizer, it is of no use because it will interact, it will develop some localized interaction with the surfaces rather than moving to ahead or rather than involving in the wetting and washing. It will localize the engage itself so that is the that is not the desired process that is in fact damaging because it will damage the surface and it will also waste the resources so ultimately uh, to keep away from these demerits and also to make it as a plus point and remarkable nano emulsion remarkable nano hydrations because they are active as i told they develop the remarkable surface engineering so this tool it is a simple handy kit it is a simple handy kit. It is already available in the market. So this service meter uh, could be a great remedy. It could be uh, kept at uh, each and every kitchen also. Even uh, we know very well that uh, see the oils, uh, this trans oil, cis oil, trans oils are cancerous. So this uh, uh, service meter also determines the quantitative amount of uh, the cis and trans oils and also the uh, surface energy of the cosmetics because cosmetics they are applied on the surfaces so to get rid of the negative impact of the cosmetics on the when it is applied surface uh, or service meter uh, becomes a remarkable uh, tool which quantitatively measure the uniform thin form formation of the cosmetics whether it is porous non-porous or whether it is making photocatalytic uh, thin film because it will absorb the UV and localize UV and will cause the impact on the negative impact on the skin. So service uh, SUR stands for the surface uh, properties and surface engineering. VIS stands for shear or viscousness or viscosity. So it is combined. So together it measures these parameters. So now with this, uh, we end this and thank you very much for uh, uh, this remarkable interaction and discussion so that the science could move ahead. Okay, thank you.